our first fairy tale Friday. I'm Princess Odette and I can't wait to get to talk to all of you. I miss you so much. This quarantine has been so hard on so many of us. I'm so excited that we get to spend some time together. So we're going to give a little bit of time for everyone to start logging on. If anyone has some questions who's there, we can start asking some questions right now. And then we are going to do some story time and singing time today, which will be fun. So I hope you're ready for a great bedtime story. And then we'll sing some songs together. I brought my friends with me today. We have Speed and Jean-Bob and Puffin. And an amazing camera person that deserves a thank you shout out <laughs> for doing a great job. We don't have any magic mirrors in my kingdom. Snow White had to loan me this one. I hope everyone has had a wonderful day and is staying healthy and staying safe and washing your hands all of the time. Hope you're helping keep your rooms clean <laughs> and that you have stayed in pajamas all day. I don't have the best pajamas. All of my pajamas look like ball gowns, so I just wore my fancy dress to see you all today. But I did go for, with bare feet for, <laughs> for, for pajama day. I need to get some fuzzy slippers. Maybe I need some fuzzy swan slippers. If anyone knows where to find those, let me know. Are we about ready to start story time? All right. We're going to tell my story today. It's the one I know the best. <laughs> you can't mess up if it's about you, right? Once upon a time, I lived in a kingdom with my father, King William. It was just the two of us living together, but he had a wonderful friend named Queen Uberta, and Queen Uberta had a son about my same age named Prince Derek, and they had a wonderful idea. They thought if Prince Derek and I grew up to get married, then our two kingdoms would become one kingdom. They thought that would be wonderful for us and for our kingdoms. So every year, every summer, they would take me to Prince Derek's kingdom and they would make us play with each other. Have you ever not gotten along with your siblings very much trying to play games? That's about how well it went. They wouldn't let me in their tree house and I wanted to play cards. I always won. It was my favorite. But they wouldn't play dress-ups with me. But it got better and better every year until when we finally did grow up, we realized we had a lot more in common than we thought we did. We found out that we really did love each other after all. But I wanted to make sure he wanted to marry me for the right reasons and not just because our parents told him to. I wanted to make sure he wanted to marry me because he loved me. So I asked him why he loved me and he said I was beautiful, which was so nice of him. And I said, thank you. But what else? And he said, what else is there? That wasn't very nice of him, was it? There's a lot more on the inside than there is on the outside. So I left and gave him some time to think of a better answer. But on the way, a great animal came and knocked over our carriage. He took me, he kidnapped me, and he killed my father, but not before he told Prince Derek what had happened. It turns out the animal wasn't actually an animal at all. It was a mean magician. He was a sorcerer. He had scary magic powers. They were called the Forbidden Arts, and he used them to put a curse on me. That was not very nice. He turned me into a swan, and every day when the sun was shining, I would be a swan. But every night, if I was on Swan Lake, this lake right here, and the moon touched my wings, I would get to be a human princess again. And only one thing could break the curse, a vow of everlasting love. And that's a really big word. It means telling someone you love them so much, and you will forever and ever and ever and always. Is there anyone you love forever and ever and ever and always? Maybe your mom or your dad or your brothers or sisters or 
even your pet dog or cat. I love each of you forever and ever and ever and always. You have my everlasting love. But if Derek couldn't find me, he couldn't make his vow of everlasting love to me. He just knew I was still alive, so he practiced every day to be able to fight Rothbart when he found him. But I made some friends at Swan Lake too. That's Jean Bob. He's a frog, but he's pretty sure he's actually a prince. He thinks if he can just get a kiss from a beautiful princess, then he'll turn into a prince. We're pretty sure he's just a frog. <laughs> That's Puffin. We met when I bandaged up his wing when he got an arrow stuck in it. And that's Speed. His friends call him Speed because even though he's a tortoise and is very slow on land, he's very, very fast in the water. Are you fast swimmers? I'm much better of a swimmer when I'm a swan than when I'm a human, I think. We, the three of us, four of us, three friends and me, came up with a plan that we would steal a map from Rothbart's tower. And then we would use that map to find Prince Derek and bring him back to the lake. It worked. We were able to bring him all the way to Swan Lake just as the moon touched my wings and he saw who I really was. I told him how to break the curse and he said that's wonderful because his mother was throwing a royal ball at the palace the next night and it would be the perfect time to make his vow of everlasting love. I was so excited I was going to be there just in time and we were going to live happily ever after. But someone overheard our plan. Rothbart, he overheard our plan. And instead of letting me go to the party, he put me in the tower and he used his forbidden arts again. He had a servant that he made look just like me so that he could trick Prince Derek. That wasn't very nice, was it? That wasn't very nice at all. When she got to the party, Prince Derek was so excited and he made his vow of everlasting love to the wrong girl. That didn't go so well. I tried to tell him I flew all the way there, but he couldn't hear me. And that meant I was going to die and Rothbart was going to be the king. I don't think he would have made a very good king. I think you have to be nice to be a king. I flew all the way to Swan Lake, and Derek got there just in time to fight Rothbart. Do you think he won? Maybe. He did. He beat Rothbart. And he got there just in time to make his vow of everlasting love. And I was all better, because it turns out true love can solve anything. Especially when true love is not just based on the outside, but all the beautiful things on the inside of you, too. And Jean Bob got his kiss, so he turned into a prince, a very green and very slimy frog prince. But he's a prince to us all the same. And we all lived happily ever after. The end. How was that for a story? I think it's time for a song. I brought my friends with me. Most of my friends had to stay at Swan Lake because we have to stay six feet away from each other right now, and they do prefer to be with the water. But I brought these, these little friends. They look a lot like my friends, except Speed's much bigger. This is my little toy Speed. And he's kind of a tiny turtle. <laughs> so I thought we could learn to sing the song Tiny Turtle. We could do the actions together in honor of Speed today. So are we ready for our actions? You're gonna hold one hand out like this. I guess I should fold up my sleeves, huh? So you can see my hands. Here we go, we're gonna put one hand out like this and one hand on top of it and then move your thumbs like this. So you have a turtle. Is everyone making their turtle hands? All right, I'm going to sing one line and then you sing it back to me and then we'll put the whole thing together. How does that sound? It goes, I had a tiny turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub. 
to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the salt. Now he's tucked away in bed with bubbles in his throat. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble, pop. <laughs> Daisy's singing too. Are you singing pop bubbles? I don't think that's what pop bubbles sound like. <laughs> Can we try putting the whole thing together? Daisy's getting excited. This is one of her favorite songs. Ezra said that was silly. <laughs> that is very silly. <laughs> I may need to go back her. I don't think she's going to stop singing along. Let me admit it. Daisy misses all of you too. She misses getting to sing with us too. <laughs> all right, ready? Get your turtle hands. Ready? I had a tiny turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the salt. Now he's tucked away in bed with bubbles in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop. What do you think? Do you think Daisy can do the actions? Let's see if we can do it again and see if we can do the actions. What do you think? Okay. I had a tiny turtle. His name was Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. Now he's tucked away in bed with bubbles in his throat. Bubble, 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 pop. <laughs> she did a good job. Tristan West says, hi, Daisy. <laughs> hi. Hi, Jason. Hi, Cozy. Daisy misses you, I'm sure. <laughs> well, now... We'll open it up to you guys. Do you have any questions you would like to ask me or any other songs you would like to sing together? I think we have a few minutes to do some questions and songs. Or maybe Daisy can dance again. Haley loves the song. Oh, I'm so glad, Haley. It's one of my favorites. I love any songs that have action. Uh, so Jessica Norby asks, where do you live? Where do I live? I live in a beautiful kingdom by Swan Lake. Derek and I take care of the Swan Lake kingdom now, and he's from a kingdom called Schomburg. There's a beautiful castle there. You can look it up on Google Earth if you need something fun to do tomorrow. <laughs> Felix Falcon asks, how do I get the soap out of my throat now? <laughs> Did you swallow the soap, Felix? You just have to wait for all the bubbles to pop. Or some of those cookies you made would probably do the trick. Angela Dignan says, we'd like to hear more songs. Ooh, okay, what would you like to hear? Uh, we're getting a couple of other questions in, so okay. give me just a sec. Ezra wants to know if you kissed the frog or if it was someone else. I did give the frog a prince a, a kiss. Jean Bob was a friend of mine, and I promised him that as soon as the spell was broken, that I would give him his kiss. It didn't quite work though, but he's all, he will always be a prince to us. Okay, Jackson wants to know how old you are. How old I am? I am in my twenties. Okay. And Ava and Emma want to know your favorite food. Oh, my favorite food. My favorite food, I do love to go on picnics. So anything I can take on a picnic. So probably, and chocolate. I do love anything chocolate. 
so maybe chocolate cookies on a picnic. So Danica Taylor asks, where is the lake? Where is the lake? Swan Lake is over in Europe. It's kind of in between Germany and Russia. It took a few years for my story to make it over here, but I'm so glad it did so that I get to share it with all of you. Okay. Well, Crystal says that AJ, Lila, and Carolyn would like to hear a song about Felix. A song about Felix. And Angela Dignan says Chase and Christian said a song from Frozen. A song about Felix. Felix, are there songs about you? Uh, we have a lot of song requests, actually. Another one just came in and says, Haley would love if you could sing What a Wonderful World, if you know the words. Okay. So Felix Frozen, Wonderful World. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's any songs about Felix. Hmm. I think we need to write a song about Felix one of these days. Maybe we can do that. Do you think we should write a theme song for you, Felix? Maybe we'll have to do that one of these fairy tale Fridays. We can write Felix a theme song. Until then, I know that Felix likes popcorn and it's much easier to make than cookies. <laughs> he was trying to make cookies. I think he needs to come to my castle and learn from the chef that works there. He's wonderful. But how about we sing popcorn popping on the apricot tree for Felix? <laughs> Does that work all right? Let's see. Oh, hold on. Felix says, yes, I want to hear a song about me. Somewhere Over the Rainbow talks about a bluebird. Oh, that is true, Felix. I didn't know you were that bluebird. It does say that bluebird flies. Have you been taking flying lessons? Let's see. I think I remember that one. Does it go somewhere over the rainbow? Way up Frozen. Hmm. I think there's only really one song from Frozen we can sing. Everyone's favorite. Are you all ready to do the actions with me? This one is much more fun with actions. Goes, the snow glows white on the mountain tonight. Not a footprint to be seen. A kingdom of isolation. And it looks like I'm the queen. The wind is howling like this swirling storm inside. Couldn't keep it in, heaven knows I tried. Don't let them in, don't let them see. Be the good girl you always have to be. Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know. Well, now they know, let it go. Let it go, can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go. Turn away and slam the door. I don't care what they're going to say. Let the storm rage on. The cold never bothered me anyway. That's a fun one. All right. So, uh, a couple more questions before we do another song. Eliza wants to know what your favorite color is. My favorite color is green, I think. I put green on almost all of my dresses. And the Mascot Miracles Foundation color is green. And I do so love my time spent with my mascot friends. Felix approved. He says, well done. Oh, thank you, Felix. Felix is one of my best friends. Okay. He started out as an ugly duckling, but now we can finally say he's a swan. Do you know uh, what a wonderful world? I don't, but I promise that next Fairy Tale Friday, I will learn that one just for you. We'll start off our Fairy Tale Friday with that song just for you. about Felix. 
<laughs> Lots of songs about Felix. Yep, there's... We need to write you a theme song, Felix. <laughs> oh, Felix is, um... He said, Ugly Duckling, that was Flax. Derek says the same thing about me all the time. He says, I started out as an ugly duckling, but somehow I became a swan. I think he means it endearingly. It at least sounds a lot better when he sings it. Let's see. Let's do popcorn popping on the apricot tree for Felix. I think he would like the actions to that one. And then we'll have to come up with a song for Felix. Does it go? I looked out the window and what did I see? Popcorn popping on the apricot tree. Spring has brought me such a nice surprise. Popcorn popping right before my eyes. I can take an armful and make a treat. A popcorn ball that would smell so sweet. It wasn't really so, but it seemed to be. Popcorn popping on the apricot tree. I think Daisy's trying to sing along again. <laughs> All right, so we have another song request. And Felix says thanks, that popped the bubbles in his throat. So, Larry Hunsaker says, sing if you're happy and you know it. <laughs> that is a wonderful one. Let's see. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. You know, I don't think Daisy likes my singing very much. Well, that's too bad because someone has asked for a duet. Oh, I think you're getting one, but let's see if she'll come over. Maybe. We'll try this again. Daisy, come here. They want to hear you sing. They like your pretty voice. Okay, well, Eliza wants to let you know her favorite color is yellow. Oh, I love the color yellow. Yellow reminds me of sunshine. Danica Taylor says you were cool and fun at the same time. Thank you. All right, so Amber Wright wants to know if you can do do a whole new world duet with Daisy. I don't know. Does that make you Jasmine, or am I Jasmine? <laughs> All right, let's see. A whole new world, a dazzling place I never knew. But when I'm way up here, it's crystal clear that now I'm in a whole new world with you. Daisy really likes that one. I think if we need to get a duet out of her, we'll sing this one. It's one I sing a lot in my story. And I've been singing it a lot around my castle lately, and Daisy's been trying to duet with me. So we'll see if we can get a duet out of her for this one. Let's see. Think you can sing along with me now? Okay. For longer than forever, I swear that I'll be true. I made an everlasting vow to find a way to you. Are you just gonna give kisses? You're not gonna sing? You're trying to make a liar out of me, and princesses don't tell lies. She'll practice. Okay. Uh, Tristan West asks, what is your favorite Disney movie or movies? Oh, that's 
so hard because I have so many wonderful princess friends. I think so many of my friends are my favorite friends to be around because of the heroes and angels that I've got to spend time with them with my friends. But I am a little bit biased and I do love my Sloan Princess story best. If I asked my friend Ellie what her favorite was when she was little, Princess Odette, my story, was her very favorite. So it's uh, wonderful to get to spend time with Ellie now. Okay. AJ, Lila, and Carolyn want to know what Odette's favorite song is. Oh, I like the duets I sing with Prince Derek best. That and anything I can sing with any of my friends for that matter. But I think Fly Longer Than Forever will always be my favorite, especially when Daisy sings along with me. What's your favorite song? Do you have a favorite? Must still be typing. <laughs> right, uh, Danica Taylor asks, what is your movie? My movie is The Swan Princess. They sent me a wonderful sign to be able to show you because I tried to describe how pretty my sign, my, uh, my storybook cover is and I'm not very good at it. But what is really wonderful about my stories and that I get to be with the Mascot Miracles Foundation is if you go on YouTube and look up the Swan Princess official channel, they have a whole bunch of mini movies that are wonderful to keep heroes entertained all day long and they're only about five to ten minutes long, which is about how long a little attention span is. Or, or Daisy's attention span for that matter. Uh, Danica Taylor wants to know what type of dog Daisy is. She thinks she's very cute. Oh, thank you. Daisy thinks she's very cute, too. Daisy ha helps out a lot of my princess friends. When we go from 2D to 3D to be able to come here to visit with you, we get a little bit like Vanellope Von Schweetz, where she gets a little bit glitchy. So Daisy is a service dog, and she helps us when we get glitchy. She's a, she's a seizure dog, so she takes care of all of the princesses when they have their seizures. So Daisy has a really long name. She's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. It's the same dog that Lady is in Lady and the Tramp, so it's why she looks really familiar to a lot of people. But Daisy takes good care of us. She also gives us a run for our money. But we do really enjoy getting to spend time with her. Uh, Angela wants to know, well, Christian wants to know if Daisy can shake your hand. Daisy doesn't know a lot of tricks. Daisy takes care of seizures and then she doesn't know many other tricks because they didn't want her to learn something else that would interfere with what she can do. But what she can do is she works by smelling my blood. She has a really strong nose. She can smell things from really far away. So she can smell when a princess is going to have a seizure about 10 to 15 minutes before they actually have one. And then she sits in your elbows and your hips because what makes a princess get glitchy is a heart beating really, really fast and your blood going really, really slow. So she pinches the blood veins, kind of like putting your thumb over a hose in the backyard of your castle. And then she presses down on a princess's heart to even it out and can stop seizures before they get bad. So she's not very good at shaking hands, but she is really good at CPR. Okay. So Eliza and Eric got back for their favorite songs. Princess Eliza's favorite song is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and Prince Eric's is You Are My Sunshine. Oh, I love both of those. Can we sing those? I'm asking my magic mirror operator for permission. <laughs> All right, let's start with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are you know, Something I've been doing because 
I don't stay inside the castle very well. I very much prefer being out in the kingdom, helping villagers, seeing friends, and playing with all of my animal friends. But when I'm stuck inside, I've been making a very, very, uh, <laughs> I guess it's been difficult to see them because there's been a lot of clouds, but I've been trying to see the stars every night because seeing them twinkle reminds me that there's lots of people stuck in their castles too, and we're all looking at the same stars every night. It makes me feel a little bit less alone in the castle. So I hope when you see the wishing stars tonight, you can wave at them and we can all make a wish together. Let's see, we were singing, you are my sunshine. I like that one a lot. Let's see. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. That's always been one of my favorites too. Sunshine just makes you happy. What makes you happy? Seems like people are still typing. <laughs> That's all right. I'll give some time to type. I think I would be slow typing on a magic mirror, too. Magic mirrors are a little bit slower than just talking. That's true. Addie and Hyro say hi. Derek will tell you that I talk about you every day, and I pray for you every day, and I miss all of you so much. I can't wait for all of the giant princess hugs I'm going to give all of you as soon as we can all leave our castles again. Eric says the things that make him happy are noisy trucks and sharks. Noisy trucks and sharks. And Eliza says that snuggling her favorite princesses is what makes her happy. Oh, I do love snuggles. We don't have sharks outside the, our Swan Lake castle, but we do have some very big alligators, and they love to go chomp. And Jean Bob loves to say that they go chomp, chomp. Uh, Angela says that she loves Mascot Miracles Foundation. Oh, I love them too, Angela. I'm so grateful to get to meet all of you and all of my mascot friends through the Mascot Miracles Foundation. Princess Kimmy says that she wants a doggy like Daisy. <laughs> oh, that's a good choice, Kimmy. Daisy is a wonderful dog. I think she's out patrolling the castle right now. She fancies herself a policeman. She thinks she's a police dog, is that silly? So she likes to keep an eye on things when she's not helping me sing. Well, let's see, I think we have time for one more song. What should we sing together before it's time to go? Okay, a few more people talking about what makes them happy. So, oh, I'm so glad. What makes people happy? Uh, Tristan West says mascots, princess snuggles, and cool cars make Jason happy. Ooh, those are all good things to be happy about. And dogs and meows make Cozy happy. Dogs and meows are both wonderful. At our castle, we have a black cat named Number Nine. When he showed up to the castle, first he just caused trouble, but now he's a good friend of mine and Prince Derek. We have some pretty cool uh, carriages at my castle. We don't have many cars, though. Jean Bob loves carriage rides, especially at Christmas. He thinks it may have just not worked the first time to get his kiss and turn into a human prince. So he likes to try to stop the carriages and the sleighs under every single mistletoe he sees to try to get another kiss. <laughs> Haley says sitting in her swing is what makes her happy. Oh, I do love swings, too. There's something about swings that make you feel like you're flying. I wonder if Felix likes swings. Lila says horses, friends, and unicorns make her happy. Oh, me too, especially when horses and unicorns are your friends. Check. I've got a friend who's a unicorn. Maybe on a fairy tale Friday I can introduce you to my unicorn friend. 
Her name is Remy. Uh, Jackie Allen says, my two-year-old loves playing with cars. Oh, I wonder if you'd like playing with our carriages, too. Danica says Disney soundtrack. Say dogs make you happy, so she's trying to help make you happy. Eliza likes horses and playing games. Oh, me too. I hope you stay tuned for our other fairy tale Fridays. We've got a lot of really fun games planned. Felix says he loves swings. It does make you feel like you're flying, doesn't it, Felix? Maybe we need to have a swing day when we can go outside again. And Brayden asks, how many songs do you know? Oh my. I'm not sure. A good friend of mine said that singing is just like talking. So I guess I know as many songs as when the music floats out of the sky. Isn't that when a princess knows what she should sing? When the music comes out of the sky, that's when you're supposed to start singing. Alden wants you to know that it's Alden and not Danica, his mom. Oh. A... <laughs> You're in trouble. It's Alden. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Alden. It's so nice to be talking to you. Tara Fulmer says zombies and sharks make her happy. Zombies and sharks make you happy? Maybe we need some sharks in our mode. Maybe they would be friends with our alligator friends. All right. Well, I think I may have to go get Daisy one more time for a song. Let's finish up with A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes. I'm not sure when your bedtime is, but my princess bedtime is coming up, so I'm starting to already think about dreams. But I can't wait to see you in a week from now, and we'll have so much fun. And I think I have to make Daisy come sing with us. dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. In dreams you will lose your heartache. Whatever you wish for, you keep. Have faith in your dreams. And someday your rainbow will come smiling through. No matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing the dreams that you wish will. Thank you so much for spending some time with me tonight. I can't wait to see you in a week, and I can't wait to get to see you when we all get to go outside again. I love you all so much from the very bottom of my heart, and I hope that you can keep singing and keep a little bit of magic in your heart to keep going. Love you. Bye.